Now at 430, a longtime fixture seen on the horizon here in Western Mass is gone tonight. The last standing piece of the Mount Tom coal burning power plant came crumbling down earlier today. Western Mass News reporter Caroline Powers was there for the implosion. The old Mount Tom power plant has been closed since 2014. Demolition began back in November. And on Tuesday, one final view of the iconic smokestack before it was brought down. At first, I thought it was an eyesore, but uh, we've kind of grown used to it. And it's kind of like, uh, you know, the Pink Floyd Animals album uh, background to our backyard. Um, my mother uses it as a reference to find the house. Kevin Godbout moved into this South Hadley home on the Connecticut River, across from the iconic Mount Tom power plant in October 2018, a month before the implosion of the boiler building. It shook the house. It was it was pretty cool. On Tuesday, the demolition continued with the old smokestack. It's going to be, you know, goodbye to a, an old landmark. Kevin's backyard, the ideal location for dozens to watch the smokestack come falling down. About 10 months to a year of planning for a 10 second process, but that's that's how we like it and that's how it should work. Julie Vitek is the vice president of communications for NG North America. Since 2016, the company built a solar field on the property and earlier this year, an energy storage facility with the smokestack down. But they're looking at possible further development on the site. It took a village to make this happen. We had a contractor called a CDI, which stands for Controlled Demolition Implosion, uh, that led the, uh, the work here today. And uh, they worked with us at NG. We worked with the Holyoke Fire Department, with the Police Department, with the Massachusetts Department of Transportation, the Massachusetts Department of Environmental Protection, and many others to make this happen and, and to make it happen flawlessly. And this is all that's left now of the 370 foot tower, once a well known visual landmark. In Holyoke, I'm Caroline Powers for Western Mass News.